Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Balcor Fitness Show here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. I'm Ellen Como, and I'm here with Torrance Fate. Fate and Hauer. Fate and Hauer. I love that last name, Fate. Thank you. It starts with a great word, Fate. Yep. Right? Yep. Yes, and we're going to talk about some exciting news for Balcor. Most definitely. Today. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're also going to learn about a great treasure in this valley that a lot of people don't know about. And if, as soon as they find about it, they're going to, there's so many great things going on there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're excited. Yes. So, you know, before that, I just want—I just had this thought today that, just to send out to everyone, I have these thoughts that come up every now and then, and today it even happened to me. We live in a life where we're always so busy. We always have to be somewhere at a certain time, and someone's expecting us, or, you know, or we have a friend that's expecting us, or we have to pick up our kids. There's always something going on, and then every now and then, all of that gets halted because someone in need either lands in our arms, at our front door, at our feet, somewhere. And that happened this morning to me where I was getting ready to go and I was in kind of in my own head getting ready for the show, which is something that we do before we get ready to either go to work or do whatever we're doing. And I got approached, it just happened that somebody was going through a difficult moment. And you get to that place where you have to sit there and decide okay, what do I do right now? You know, I need to get going, but this person's in need. And it's just really sad sometimes to think about how busy our lives are, that we have lost that ability and that time to be able to really spend with someone when they need it. So I kind of took the road with, I took the time and was there for them. Um, and then got here on time as well. Everything just, I mean, all the roads just opened up and I got here on time. But I guess I'm just passing this thought on just to tell everyone that, you know, don't be so busy that when someone reaches out to you, you can't be there for them. Because sometimes you might be that only opportunity for them to have a positive word, a hug, that motivation that they need in order to get through the day. And if you can have that moment to help somebody, please don't ever think about anything else. The rest will work out for itself. So just a, a little bit of a note that I was going through this morning. Very cool. I know, right? Yeah. Okay, so now getting to the exciting news for Balacor. Balacor Fitness Studio has now partnered with UFC Santa Clarita Gym. UFC Gym Santa Clarita. Correct. Yes, yes. There it is. <laughs> That's our big announcement. And I'm so excited about this, I have to tell you, Torrance. Torrance is yeah. the general manager over there. That's correct. Yes, and he, you know, and Mike, the owner, is wonderful as well. I yes, mean, he is. Just, just such a great guy. And if you don't know where UFC is, will you tell everyone where it's located? We are at 18655 Soledad Canyon Road. We are off of Soledad near Sierra Highway. The main uh, entrance is Vilna Street. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're familiar with uh, Everest and IHOP Shopping Center, we're right there. We're right in the back of that parking lot. So Soledad Canyon across the street from the movie theaters. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> That's the easiest way to describe it. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows where the movie theaters are. So we're right. It's behind the IHOP and where the library is as well. Yeah, we're the biggest mm -hmm. building, though. You won't miss it. And you won't miss it. It's At back all. there, but it's so beautiful. And I got, this. why I called it a hidden treasure is because... You you know, I've been in the fitness industry for a very long time. And when you walk in the door at UFC, it is a beautiful facility. Oh, no doubt. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know it's there. True. Yes. Yeah. You know, being in the back of that parking lot does make a visibility issue for us. Um, and we're new to town. You know, yeah. we're coming up on our one-year anniversary. Um, so we are kind of the new kids on the block a little bit. Um, and in the fitness industry as a whole, UFC Gym as a company is relatively young. And what we do is a, a new thing. So getting the word out, um, you know, also dispelling um, the misconceptions that are out there about the brand are, mm -hmm. are kind of our biggest challenge but also what make things so exciting for us. Now, what are the, some of the, m the biggest misconceptions people have about UFC, uh, UFC gym? The biggest misconception we run into is uh, UFC is also very popular on TV because it's where all the mixed martial arts fighters strive to be. Mm -hmm. um, and people you know, take that image and apply it to the gym and think that we are a fight club, that we're, uh, you know, all, all males, no, no females, no family stuff. Um, and it's quite the opposite, you know, so the brand does pre uh, present a little challenge there. Um, but no, UFC gym is, uh, for everyone. And that's what's so interesting. I've also worked in this, you know, health and fitness industry forever. And I've worked at big clubs and nonprofits. And this is, the community gym that we all kind of wished we were, um, you know, 
Ultimate Fighting Championship. I know you and I joked around a little about it. Could be, uh, what were you calling it? The Ultimate... Ultimate Family Club. I, I wish that was what the brand actually stood <laughs> for. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, UFC Gym, uh, our philosophy is train different. Um, we consider ourselves the gym after the gym. You know, a lot of our members have done the major health club thing and the most most people get out of it is a few workouts a week if they're doing really well they hit some weights they do some treadmill work they're bored you know maybe some classes that are kind of you know after a month of doing it gets a little stagnant mm -hmm. um, what we do is we take all the training methods of these elite athletes that do the mixed martial arts um, and we apply it to our normal you know, everyday people. I'm, I'm 30 years old, I have two kids, and I can take every class at UFC gym, and I can get really good results. It's never boring. Um, we mix in traditional fitness. Now we have the awesome benefit of Balacor coming mm -hmm. along, and all the unique things that Balacor brings to the table. And we also bring in all the benefits that come from martial arts training, and you never have to get hit in the face, which is awesome. You know what I like? <laughs> you know what I like what you're saying, too, is you're creating your own workout, so it's not the box gym, not the box classes. No. So every gym, every class that you're giving is its own unique class. Percent. And that's why Balacor is such a great partnership because Balacor is the same way. Right. Like we, you know, Balacor class is about a lot of resistance training, which mm -hmm. is so important, balance, stabilization, coordination, and proprioception. So there's a lot of different things going on with Balacor. But again, it's that thing where, you know, I'm not going to take you to a place of getting hurt. Like I always tell my members, I do not want you throwing up. First of all, I don't want to throw up on my floor. No. <laughs> so I don't want to have to clean it up. And second of all, that's not what it takes to get fit. No, you know, we want to keep you safe. We want to keep you healthy. It, and I also want to keep you uninjured because if you get injured, then you're not being able to get healthy. No. And that in my own life has been the most frustrating thing in fitness is I, you know, getting injured, trying something mm -hmm. that I went too hard or, you know, I've been pushed by coaches and trainers who maybe shouldn't have took it to that level. And then I'm laid up for three months and I gain some more weight and mm -hmm. I get, you know, depressed. And it just, it's a, it's a formula for disaster. Um, so yes, the Balacor philosophy, our philosophy are one and the same. We want you to come, we want you to have fun, create a healthy habit, mm -hmm. um, keep you from getting hurt, keep you challenged though. Um, one of our coaches, uh, Miss Asia Starr, she explains it really well to new members when they come and try her class. Um, the classes are by no means um, super easy, you know, they're meant to challenge you. Mm -hmm. um, but the point that she brings up is you're, you're coming in as a new person, whether you're coming right off the couch or maybe your experience, the idea in your first class for her is just to get like a C plus in the class uh -huh. and then every day improve your grade a little bit. Like you said, you come in and if you push for that A plus, you, you know, and we, our coaches watch for that to make sure nobody overdoes it. But, um, you know, you might end up either disappointed, you might, you know, throw up, heaven forbid, or, or you know, we, heaven forbid, would have an injury. So that's the idea is to take everyone at every fitness level and challenge you mm -hmm. and then keep you interested, keep you satisfied, keep you happy and, and maintain a habit that's going to last the rest of your life. And I love what you said. You can have fun. Can I tell you, I'm going to look you right in, the, right in the camera here. You can have fun and still change your body. Why do we think that we have to be dying no. to be able to change your body? Now, do you have to be challenged? Yes, you do. Sure. And does there have to be an intensity level? Of course. And the intensity level is something very interesting because an intensity level on Monday could be an eight and on Thursday can be a six, but you're getting still that major workout for yourself. Yeah. Cuz people our bodies each and every day fluctuate between sleep and eating and life and what we're doing. Oh, yeah. And as long as we are staying at what our personal intensity level is, mm -hmm. that's good. Exactly. Yeah, and it doesn't have to look like anybody else's. No. And that I mean and I think that too is what fits in so well in the classes that Balcor and UFC gym mm -hmm. teach. Um is that the class is a team environment. However, nobody can get left behind. The class is designed not to make you feel that way, do that. Um, you know, I've been in a, you know, a class where I was a traditional cardio kickboxing kind of turbo type class and um, I took a wrong turn and the lady next to me kicked me and I got embarrassed and I left the class. It wasn't her fault. I made a left when I should have went right. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that feeling of, well, I'm not ready for this, so yeah. I'm going to leave and try something else till I'm ready. 
that doesn't happen. And I, I haven't seen it happen in the Balacor fitness program that I've, I've you know, yeah. becoming familiar with right mm -hmm. now. Um, everybody at their own pace, their own level, mm -hmm. but everybody's challenged, everybody's seeing results. Um, and there's nothing more motivating than getting those results. Exactly, like I might have somebody, you know, and, and I'm that kind of class too. A lot of classes, they tell you if you're new, standing in the, stand in the back of the class. Yeah. With me, when you come into my class and you're new, I ask you to go to the front of the class so I can keep an eye on you. Because it's really like mm -hmm. personal training in a class setting. I want to see what you're doing. I want to know your form is on point. I want to mm -hmm. know if you have any questions I'm right there for you. The great thing is when I get there and I'm able to help you and then the rest of my class starts to take over my count for me because they want to make sure that we're staying on count and we're staying because right, they don't want to have right. to do any more than we have to do. But the whole class will take over and know that, you know, we're going to take over the counting so Ellen can come over here and help. Because they were all there at one point where I've helped them as well. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. an exciting thing when that team element comes yes. in. Um, you know, and the UFC gym, when, when you get a chance, you've seen it, and when mm -hmm. people get a chance to come in, um, our class areas um, don't even have a front back, you yeah. know. It's, it's completely, everybody's together, the coach is mobile, they're checking on everyone, everyone gets that, that element of that personal training in a class environment as well. Um, and especially because, you know, we're mixing in things that are not traditional fitness. You know, we have special equipment, we have martial arts techniques, um, things that, you know, we don't, you know, come out of the womb doing naturally. Right. Um, so those coaches are vigilant to make sure everybody's getting the best experience, the safest experience, and that we're having fun again, because if you don't have fun, you're never going to do it again. And I love that they're form oriented. Oh yeah. Because if it's not, you know, so many, I have people walking into my gym all the time with injury and they come to Balacor because they hear that it's safe. They hear that they can get a great workout and I can change your body without having to uh, to put you into a compromising position. Right. And a lot of that really comes down to the fact that as we're going on, I'm teaching form the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. Like my class will know, they will actually be able to know the transition. Like there's a transition going on from chest to tricep. This is what we're doing. Right. They know, they understand. They know the muscle that they're working. Yep. I will even say, if anyone's not in this muscle, please raise your hand. If they raise their hand, it's not that they're calling themselves out. I want them to raise their hand. And right. then what I do is walk over. And then next time we get into that move, I'm with them. Like I said, the rest of the class that knows what they're doing just goes ahead. And then I stand sure. there and I can, to help them. And I know UFC is this, this US, UFC gym, Santa Cruz is the same way. Right. Because I've kind of, I've experienced the classes. I kind of, right. when right. I'm in there, I'm watching everything. And I love that we're all on that same page with, with form and with making sure people stay safe. And yeah. they come in and have a great time and they can get results. It's so important. And the other really cool thing that I love about UFC gym is you can come, you're, you can bring your five-year-old. Oh, yeah. And they are going to be in their own class. They're not going to be sitting in daycare area. They're nope. actually going to be in their own class. So exactly. talk about that class for kids, please. Um, youth programming is priority number one, especially as we move into this 2016 year. Mm -hmm. uh, even at the corporate level, uh, the youth programming is expanding very rapidly. Um, one of the biggest things that we see in our country is that, you know, just poor health, bad eating habits, no exercise. It's starting young. I have a three-year-old and he kind of is already noticing, you know, that he likes cheeseburgers better than he likes healthy food. And, you know, mm -hmm. he likes his tablet better than he likes to go play outside. Um, and those are things I didn't have growing up. I, right. I mean, it just wasn't around. Uh, well, cheeseburgers are always going to be around. But, <laughs> um, and I do like them. But, yeah. um, you know, we, we kind of are, are lacking in our country in that type of education and, and direction. So UFC Gym takes, you know, uh, currently at UFC Gym Santa Clarita, we offer a youth uh, striking class, which is kickboxing, um, and it's taught on punching bags. There is no contact between children. There's no fighting. Um, to get them to try something different, uh, the coach is very good. Her name's Asia again. Um, they play games. You know, they pretend to be ninjas. So we, you know, we're catering to fitness at that, you know, age. Uh, it's fun. Then they stick around. We have 530. We have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is a self-defense type class that also promotes you know body awareness flexibility um, and respect for other children because you are partnered up in that class and, and number one rule in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is you take care of your training partner
partner or you have nobody to train with. Um, so that's very cool to see the kids learning and, and you know, teaching each other techniques and, you know, behaving better. Um, report cards are coming in and they're, you know, A's and B's, not C's and D's. Um, and then we've just added a block of 6.30 p.m. classes for the parents who maybe can't be there so early. Um, and we added some more kids. Uh, we have a class called Daily Ultimate Training, which is the PE that we're missing now in school, but more fun because we have cool equipment and we have games to play. And, you know, that hour goes by really fast. And what's really cool is the parents don't have to be bored while their kids are in class. You know, you sign up at a traditional martial arts school, mom, dad sit in the folding metal chair for an or hour outside. and a half. Some of them make yeah, you stand outside you just drop and look them through off. the window. Yeah, look through the window yeah. so you don't interrupt class. Uh -huh. um, that doesn't happen at UFC gym because simultaneously these adult classes are going on. Mm -hmm. The adults are getting their workouts. The kids are safe. They're having fun. Um, the building, for the most part, you can see right through the whole thing. So you can look from your bag class over to the, the octagon and see your kid in there doing jujitsu and learning new techniques, developing confidence. Um, we're really trying to just inspire a younger generation to be healthier, make smarter choices. Um, you know, we talk a little bit about nutrition with them in the classes. We talk about grades. We talk about, you know, behavior, how to be respectful, how to be a leader. Um, and in the year that the program's been going, the kids who have stuck around for that whole year, I mean, they're in a whole nother spot in their life, um, which comes with maturity and it comes with, you know, parenting as well. Um, but it's awesome. It's probably one of the most fulfilling parts of my job. I love when you said too, that they're teaching each other because I always say the the way you learn is by teaching. Oh yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. growing up myself, I did traditional martial arts. I've coached wrestling and you you learn these things and then when you have to teach it to someone else it sticks finally mm -hmm. um and there's that leadership value you know if you get to teach somebody you know you kind of take on that leadership role um typically when i would run a youth program every day a different child would run the warm-up someone didn't want to do it and then within a month they were pros i mean that kind of confidence building is what we like to see yeah. and leadership skills for a child develop so much confidence oh, in yeah. everything that they do wherever they go and when they have leadership and they know how to be a leader they're never going to fall into the victim or bully role they're going to stay oh, no. right above both of those right and if anything at all they'll kind of bring on you know, the person that might be being bullied and bring them with them, you know? Correct. So there's such a, for our kids to learn that skill at such a young age is so important. Oh yeah. So important. So that's why I let, when I walked into UFC gym of Santa Clarita right away, I got the feeling of just, this is a great, beautiful place. It and is. I've been around gyms like for gosh, over 37 years. Oh, wow. So yeah, <laughs> you know, long time. I'm really old. So when I walked in, I, it was beautiful first of all. Yeah. UFC Gym Santa Clarita probably is the prettiest gym out here in this valley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just beautiful. Clean. Well so important to me that it's clean. The equipment is just beautiful and kept up so well. So right when I walked in and I started seeing all this and I started talking to Mike, I got to know you, Torrance, a little mm -hmm. bit better. And I'm like, wow, this is just, so, this is a gem. This is a gem for people to come and really find their home right. because a gym is a home. For sure. It's a place that you come to where you feel safe, where you build friendships, where you build your body. Yep. And now I just want everyone to know for men and women, this is a place for you to come together. Exactly. You know, and women, you can come to the battle class. Guys can too, but women can come. The guys can be out on the floor oh, yeah. doing what they do. They can be in any of the other classes doing mm -hmm. kickboxing. And we know, I just, you know, I thought about this. Like on a, on a Thursday or Friday night, come to the evening classes, jump in the showers, cause locker room showers, yep. and then you can go right across the street to the movie theater, go see a movie together. Definitely. Yeah. So there's things you can do that are right around the area that are great for you. Yep. And healthy. And healthy yeah. the whole entire way. So it's such a great, great place to go and I just want people the most important thing I want everyone to remember is this is for a family a five-year-old I mean yep. think about that if you have a five-year-old and older we have a place for them and now after 12 years old they go to the other classes as they start joining the other yeah classes. 12 and up you I mean you full access at that point you're training with the adults mm -hmm. so we have a lot of teenagers and parents training too not just couples and I think that's important too because we Very don't cool. sometimes have enough time with our children mm -hmm. and this way we have time with our children with them being healthy and sometimes they're in team sports but sometimes you know what 
that time when they're in a team sport, you're not part of their life. No, yeah. You know, they're yeah. there with you know. This gives you a time to connect with your son, your daughter, and I still love that with my children. You know, growing up in the fitness world and bringing mm -hmm. them into it is spending that time with them working out. And even at Balacor Fitness Studio, we didn't have daycare, and people would ask me, "Is it okay if I bring my son?" I'm like, "Of course it is. Definitely. I want your kids to see you working out." You know, yeah. I don't want that to be separate. Set the example. Yeah, they need to know, right? They <laughs> exactly. need to know that we're taking care of what are we doing? So we're gonna take a break right here. We're gonna come okay. back, we're gonna talk more about UFC Jim Santa Carita, about the partnership with Balacor. We're gonna be right back, Ellen Como on your hometown station, AM twelve twenty KHTS.